Hello everybody and welcome to another of my videos for Dungeon Crusher Soul Hunters. Um, I want to apologize about the last two videos. Um, I apparently had clicked a button on the back of my headphones here and turned off the sound so you couldn't hear anything I said. Uh, so I apologize about that and um, I will uh, try to remember not to do that in the future. Um, all right, this video today is a video on uh, how to effectively get some of the uh, heroes from further down uh, your list. Um, so on my server 12 account here, um, you can see I don't have nearly as many um, heroes as I do on my server 5 account. I mean, I still have a good amount, but... Um, not nearly as many as before. And so uh, I'm guessing that the viewer wants to uh, know about how to get uh, some of these ones that you collect down this way. Um, so uh, probably he, he didn't mention space or star, um, but as you can see, I already have all three space and all three star. I actually just got this star yesterday um, to complete my set. And then after that is uh, the soul heroes, um, and then which uh, right now I only have soul mauler, um, and then after soul mauler comes the necro, and then seaweed heroes, and then the void heroes. Okay, so I'm guessing. That he wants to, because um, he mentioned Peach Needle. So specifically this level, and then also um, the Void level. Uh, and so what I have decided to do on this account is now that I have Soul Mauler, um, I am not going to get Soul Reaper, which is the third one, which you can't see here. Uh, I am going to convert, and I'm not going to get Soul Eater right now. And so I'm going to convert all of my excess shards into um, the Necro uh, hero. And then one of the things you need to be careful of is as you are doing this, make sure that you get, at least for your first time, a full run of all of the shards. So I, I am very, very tempted to convert these over to seaweed right now but i'm not going to um and the reason why is like so if i go into the infinity gym here like i have actually that wouldn't be a very bad thing to show you while i'm on this should i do it oh my goodness i'm gonna do it okay all right so here's the thing Right now I have almost 500 Necro Shards. And in order to get this full, I have to have 2200 Necro Shards. And so if I convert these Shards here that I have into um, Seaweed, then I have to start back over. And I have to get another 500 just to get where I'm at. And then uh, I have to get the full 2200 before I get the full bonus for this. What it would do for me, though, uh, and I'm not going to do it. I've said I'm not going to do it. If I did convert these 500 shards into here, um, then basically I would get, let's see, 500 times 4. So I'd get about 200 shards of uh, seaweed. And that would increase me up to a higher percentage. Uh, and so I would get a, uh, a damage bonus. Um, which is beneficial, and I have done that in the past on my server 5 account. Um, but um, it sets you back on the, the necrophages, okay? And so, um, I mean, the, the uh, if I did convert them, I would get a higher bonus than I would if I left them here. Um, but I really just want to max this out. So your, your mileage may vary. You can do whatever you'd like. But um, what I'm going to do is instead of hiring my Necrophagist when I get him, I'm going to go ahead and start, I'm going to convert all 2250 over here into um, Peach Needle, basically. Uh, and then 
I'll have to do that three different times in order to get my Peach Needle Hero. Okay? And so I'm going to skip Necro and go straight to Peach. And then once I have Peach Needle, then I'll go back and then I'll do my Necrophagia um, guy uh, and or my Soul Heroes so that I can get the bonuses. Um, because with this, you can see um, the bonuses I get are improved rating uh, and improved wisdom. So Science and then your weekly rating. And then uh, Soul Eater gives you influence and wisdom. And then you don't see them on here, but Reaper then gives you a, a weekly rating and then influence. Um, and then the same thing with the Necro. Um, each one of the three gives you the separate ones. And so the more heroes you have, the higher uh, influence you can get and the higher uh, science you can get which will then help you in your weekly event rewards and then getting high uh, weekly events will get you these special heroes here and those special heroes give you more weekly events uh, bonuses and then you can get some cooler um, weekly heroes like uh, Santa Claus and um, cucumber and um, some other various ones. Um, uh, the King is one of them. Uh, but anyway, so you can get other cool heroes by, by doing that. Um, but anyway, so the best way uh, to do this is uh, or, or a couple things you have to keep in mind. First of all, uh, let's switch over here, um, is that pure emeralds um, to... So... All right, so emeralds. Emeralds are items that you get like on a regular basis, right? So here's my emeralds right now. I've got 1,800 emeralds. Um, with these emeralds, the more emeralds you get, the more hero packs you can buy, uh, which are over here. Those are bottles. Hmm. Here we go. Uh, there's more um, hero packs you can buy with these shards, right? So um, the more emeralds you get, the more of these shards you can get. And um, then what you do is you take your shards and you go down here to the altar. And then... See, I don't have a whole lot right now. But then what you would do is you would alter these guys here... And then you would get packs of shards, okay? And then every time you do that, um, is it, can we, okay, yeah. So every time you um, do that, for every pack you get, then you'll get more of these shards here, okay? Which includes um, the Soul Eater shards, okay? Um, and the soul leader shards are the ones that you need to convert into the higher, um, the higher ones, your necros and your, um, seaweeds and then your voids. And so these, you don't want to convert because they're costly. And I'll show you that in just a moment. Um, but you'll convert these up to the higher ones and then you'll just alter these guys as they come available. Okay. All right. And so in order to get uh a hundred soul shards what i have found for for doing altering is it takes about seven thousand emeralds to get a hundred soul shards from altering your mileage will vary but that's about average okay and the way i did that is by saving up forty two thousand emeralds and then altering all of those down and i got about 600 soul shards from that and so math takes you down to about every 7,000 emeralds, you get 100 soul shards. All right, now, 2,000 soul shards is what you need to get the soul hero, okay? And I've got a visual for you on that right here. So 2,000 soul shards will get you the soul hero, okay? Now, in order to get to convert over to your necro, you're going to need about 5,600 soul shards okay to get one necro 
one necro hero. Okay, that's going to cost you 563 holograms and 11,000 hyperspheres. These are very difficult to get, and so that's why you don't want to waste any of them converting your space to star or your star to soul. Um, because you, you'll want to save those. So um, then this graph here will show you approximately you need 15,625 soul shards to get your peach needle. Okay, and then your holograms and your hyperspheres cost. So you're going to want to save these as much as you can if you're going to get to there. Um, and then if we go back over here, this shows you approximately how many emeralds you're going to need to be able to get there. Okay, so to convert your emeralds over to get a full soul hero, you're going to need about 164,000. Okay. Your necro heroes, you're going to need almost half a million. Okay. And then to get your peach needle, you need 1.3 million. Okay. Uh, and then 3.6 million to get your void hero. Now, there is a nice little um, badge, which really doesn't do anything for you other than look cool. Uh, if you get 1 million emeralds um, at the same time without spending any of them. If you get one million of them, then uh, you get this badge that says, like, Miner or something like that. Uh, I have it on my S5 account, but I don't have it on my S12. Um, and so, um, that's irrelevant, though. And so you'll need this, you'll need to collect this many shards in order to get to those heroes. Now, the best way to do that is by doing time travels. Okay, uh, I am not at a point where I can do time travels yet on my um, S12 account. Um, let me pull this. No, oh, where'd it go? Come on. Where are you? No. Oh. Trying to grab. Um, trying to move that up. It's somewhere, somewhere below. I can't find it right now. Anyway, so uh, I I made a a spreadsheet. Um, to where I can. Uh, I can show how many, let me do this, I don't know why I can't, I think I lowered it too much, too far down, alright, so I, I won't be able to show that, um, I'm going to delete it, we go. Remove. There we go. Yep. All right. And then I will add it again. Source new window capture. Window capture two. Um. That's not. What did I do with it? Okay, so there's that. No. Cancel. I'm sorry. I should have had this better, ready to go. I didn't think I would have this much trouble with it. There we go. Now I got it. All right, there. So now you can see this. Um, 
So I created this spreadsheet to show you about time travels, okay? And so in order to do time travels effectively, I wait uh, until my spatial portal is right here at 3742 so that I can hire Star Hero right away since I have my Infinity Gem on him. And in order to effectively get there, you'll need to be able to get to around uh, level 9666, okay? Now, in your mine, um, in some of your higher mines, it takes 60 hours for your miners to be able to get the gems. And so, based off of 60 hours, if you divide 60 by 4, you're going to come up with 16. Um, and so, you need to be able to do 16 of these. And so, your time jumps are going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then you do five time jumps again. And so essentially all you really need to be is at level 86, 67, or 8 to do the time jumps. And so you'll do five and then five more and then six. So that'll get you through your 60. And if you do that three different times, then you'll be able to um, do one full time travel run which is the 192 hours, because at each um, even level, 4,000, 5,000, 6,000, 7,000, 8,000, etc., you get the 500 gem mine. And so um, what you'll do is you'll just time travel. And I have a video about this, so if you're interested in that, go and take a look at it. It's called Advanced Gem Mining. Um, and so that will help you do all of... Um, you get as many gems as you can, emeralds, okay? And uh, once you get up to this level, you can do two uh, runs of eight instead of a five, five, six. You can do eight times eight. Or when you get up to this level here, you can do a 16. So that's just all you would need to do. Okay? Now, um, oops. Wrong button. Move this out of the way. And then go back to this one. Okay. Um, so, basically, that's what you're going to do. You're going to just mine to your heart's content uh, until you get those. Now, for me personally, um, when I was doing this the first time, I did so many time travels to get Peach Needle that I uh, I actually stopped playing for about a week because uh, I was so tired of doing it. So you know, take that into consideration. Um, you can you can do it as much as you want, but it does cost uh, bottles as well, 480 bottles per run uh, to be able to get that. Uh, you will get some of those materials back. Uh, you can get the bottles back through doing crafts, crafting bottles with all the materials you gain. Um, so just keep that in mind as well. And you'll want to keep as many of the uh, hyperspheres and the um, holograms as you can so that you can convert those over. Otherwise, you'll be waiting on those in order to get your full heroes and have so many shards that you can't convert them. Okay. All right. Um... I think that's really all I wanted to say about that. Other than uh, there are some. No, that's not what I want to do. I wanted to do this. Uh, there are some recipes you can do uh, for crafting. So here you craft your heroes, your soul leaders to necrophagus. Uh, you can see here it does cost holograms and hyperspheres and 10 soul or. Uh, 10 soul to get to necrophages. Uh, I don't need to do that. And I don't need that. Alright, um, and so as you're crafting these, that's why you need the holograms and the hyperspheres. You can get holograms by progressing levels, uh, starting around level 600 up through 4000, but then after that you don't get them anymore. Um, so keep that in mind as you're, you're doing your progressions. Uh, and then your hyperspheres you can craft uh, using these five spheres. Um, 
And so as you get materials, you'll get these as you're passing levels as well, but then you can also craft these. Um, in addition, I don't have those recipes on here yet uh, on my server 12 account, but um, you can you can certainly craft those um, hyperspheres, but it does take a lot of bottles, uh, I mean essence, um, essence of luck, um, because I, it's 75% success chance, and then you'll want to put in your catalyst to make it, you know, 100%. Uh, and then it'll definitely cost you a lot of spheres. Um, and then there is a way to convert your spheres from one to another, and uh, that way you can make them all even as you're creating hyperspheres. Okay? So those are the best ways to get those heroes. Now, the thing about Peach Needle is that, um, I'm not sure if I talked about this yet, but um, you do, in order to make a good Peach Needle deck, you're going to need uh, Miklin. Yeah, I'm sure I already talked about that. But you will need Miklin and the Green Arbiter, and uh, also a Sneak for either Col uh, Colazar or uh, uh, Lingoth. Um, and that way to make your plus ten dollars on peach needle uh, so keep that in mind uh, there's no need to rush to peach needle unless you have at least two of those items uh, two of those three items the sneak um, LG um, or um, the other two things uh, Micklin and Green Arbor so you really need all of those in order to make a good peach deck. And if you don't have at least two or three of those four items, then there's no need to rush to peach needle. Okay. Um, I can't think of anything else there. If you guys have any other questions about that, leave it in the comments below. I'll get back to you. Sometimes it takes me a couple weeks to get to you, but uh, I will eventually get to you, I promise. And uh, thanks for watching my videos. God bless. Have a great day. And uh, I'll... You know, I, some of you guys have been coming in game and saying hi to me. You guys are welcome to do that. I don't know if we'll hold great conversations, but you're welcome to send me a message and uh, I will respond to you um, through the in game as well. Uh, currently, I only play on my server 5 and server 12, but I do have some accounts on or some characters on some of the other servers, but uh, I'm not really into playing on those other ones right now. So, uh, again, thanks a lot for watching and uh, tell your friends. Have a good day.